if you want to play a sound from your computer the way that any player or any friend in your game can hear that sound you need to have a soundboard there are many options out there the one that most people are talking these days about is a software called voice mod which initially is free you can use a lot of features in it for free but the one that we need for this purpose, which is the soundboard, is really limited. So you have to actually pay for it. So the soundboard feature is limited and you have to pay for it to get unlimited access to it. But there is a alternative for this software, not for the whole features, but only for the soundboard, which is totally free and very light. And by light, I mean, it doesn't use that much resources of your computer. And that's really important because you don't want to experience any lag while you're playing a game just because of a soundboard in the background. So the software I suggest is called DCSP, which is totally free. And you can download it from the GitHub page for the software is actually from the developer so if you come to this link which you can find it in the description you can always get the newest version you can download this software and install it i already have it installed so i don't go through it again but it's really simple you just open it you just hit next a couple of times and then you're done after you install this software which is the main software you need to install another software to actually uh, make the computer listen to this DCSP software, listen to anything you play through that software and actually consider it as something that computer is hearing from your mic. So virtually you're saying the computer that whatever you hear from this DCSP actually consider it as something you hear from my mic and that's why others can hear it in the game so you can come to this link again in the description and download it installing this software is also really simple the only thing you have to pay attention for this is that you actually have to choose the right uh, installer based on your computer, which I assume you're using a 64 bit, right? And you have to actually right click on it and run it as administrator. So don't double click on it, right click on it and run it as administrator. After you finish installing these two software, make sure you restart your computer. If after restarting your computer, you notice that you don't hear the sound of your computer don't panic that's normal you're gonna fix it so all right now that you restarted your computer open the control panel and go to the sound setting up your control panel and you can see that both in playback and in the recording, one option is added as cable output. Right click on it and set as default device. Now that you're here, right click on your mic and go to the properties, go to the listen tab. Uh, turn on the option called listen to this device and select cable input VB audio as the option save it and save it you can close it now you can open your DCSB of course you won't have all these sounds and effects added here because there are things that I added but pretty much you will see the same UI 
The first thing I can say is that go to settings and set your setting exactly as I have it here. So for the pause, I'm using subtract on my keyboard. Oh, you can use any any other option or any other keybinds, but these are the things I found the best, I think. So the pause is subtract, the continue is add, and the stop is divide. In the sound setting, make sure you select the second one as cable input. And go to the other and choose only sound. All right, now that you set everything here, you're ready to add your sound effects here. To make it easier for you, I uploaded over 120 voices and sound effects, which you can download. It's for free. I got it for free and I just zipped it for free for you. Download it, save it somewhere in your computer and come back here. You can find the link in the description. To add a new sound effect, you simply click on add sound. Here is the window. You can name it anything. This is just a name. In the second field, you choose the file. Let's say you choose derp. And for the key, you can use any key binds that you like. I usually have a combination of V and something else. So I hold V and press some button to play the sound that I like. Why V? Because in most cases, in most of the games that I have, the push to talk button I set is V. So when I hold the V in the game, I can talk. That's why I choose V as one of the buttons in this software so that whenever I want to push to talk in the game, then this software will be activated. And then if I press another key that I just bind it for one of these sounds, then the sound will also be played through my in-game chat, in-game voice chat. So uh, we set the name, we selected the sound and let's say I choose V and this button. So you click on this and choose your keybind. Here it is. So just to give it a test, I test it. Yep. Okay, that worked. You can change the volume or you can set it as loop so that it keeps playing until you pause it or stop it. Uh, when you're done, you can close it. As you see, this is added here. You can always yep. test it. You can edit it or remove it. So whenever I press, as you can see in this little virtual keyboard here, if I press V and the yep. key, it will play. Yep. Uh, there's a bonus tweak here that I want to show you and that is related to Discord. If you use Discord, uh, you may notice that when you talk in the game, you actually are hot micing, which means your friends in the Discord will hear you twice, once through the Discord and once in the game. To avoid that, you just open the Discord, go to settings, go to keybinds, add a keybind for the action, choose push to mute. And for the keybind, choose the key you use for push to talk in the game. So in my case, because I use V, so I press V here, start record. So whenever in the game, I press V to talk, 
my Discord will automatically be muted so that my friends won't hear me twice. Now, if you go to a game, you press, you hold V and you press the key bind to set for your voice, your friends will hear that funny voice. Now, if after installing the second software, you notice that you don't hear your computer sound, simply go to control panel, go to the sound setting. From the playback, choose anyone that works for you. For me, of course, I use a headphone connected to my Yeti microphone. So I set it for my Yeti because I want to get that sound from Yeti. But if you are if you want to hear it from your speaker, then find your speaker or any other device that you use and then select that as default device and then save it. That's it, your sound will come back.